30XX, 30XX, the sequel to 20XX, 20XX, which I actually did a for breakfast on uh, a, a while ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but uh, it is a Mega Man roguelike. Uh, and there's progression, there's all that good stuff, right? It's a rogue light, I should say. Uh, it, there's a progression, there's a procedure generated levels and everything. Uh, and I actually had to go back and fire up the original 20XX uh, just to see what the aesthetic difference was because the original 20XX, actually, I'll, you know, I'll just show you, I'll just show you. Now, this game is in early access right now, uh, and it is currently available for $19.99, basically a full price early access. Uh, it is certainly missing a whole lot of features that are already in, uh, that already exist in 20XX, uh, but we can just expect that those things are going to show up. So maybe this is something that you put on your wish list and just kind of keep an eye on if you're into these kinds of games. Uh, now, first off, before we get in, there is two different modes. You can get into the standard mode, which is just basically play until you die, and then there's mega mode, which uh, returns you HP with all of your level progress and attack and all that. So this is where people who uh, maybe don't want to die or maybe want to keep all of their progress and keep on playing the levels until they master them, right? Uh, I prefer the standard mode because it's just just like you just play and then you get a random level assigned to you and then you go to the next level the next one the next one um and so we're gonna do that today now i uh, if you, visually you could see like this is this is very much a mega man zero mega man x uh style of uh of art now again i had to go back to the original game i actually have it loaded up here so i could show you guys we can go ahead and mute this one unmute the other um <clears throat> so you guys can see the difference here. So this is the original. And and so, you know, at first I was just like, well, what do they really change? It feels like it's kind of the same. And I loaded this up and I was like, oh my God, it's like completely different. It's completely different uh, in terms of like, just the way the character moves, the, 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 the I mean, it's not pixel art at all. Uh, <laughs> it's a very, very, you know, hand-drawn artistic style. Um, and so like, I was just like, why is it, why did I look at this and immediately think like, you know, like, well, you know, this looks like the old one. And I think it's because 20XX looks like how we remember the uh, you know SNES version of the Mega Man series, the Mega Man X, X series. Uh, so like when we think of those games, you know, through our rose tinted goggles, we think this is what it looks like, right? So <laughs> when I was playing 30XX, I was like, I mean, it looks the same, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to load it up and, and take a look at it. Now, now while we're here, we're gonna take a look around. This is your, um, your, your the area that you go first to uh, to kind of you know set up your map or whatever, or buy some stuff, or you know do hardcore challenges and all that stuff. Uh, and you can see there's like a number of challenges and all this stuff. Uh, there's uh, what is this one here again? Oh yes, yeah, I actually started run. Oh, this one here. I'm all multiplayer, of course. Yeah, both of them multiplayer, which is great. You have two different characters you can choose from. Same thing, Ace and um, uh, what's her face? What's her name? Uh, Nina. Uh, and so both of them, they're pretty much the same, but man, artistically, it's so, so different. But there's just a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of shop, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, now, the new one, we're going to go and actually exit out of this one, and we'll switch back to this guy here. And we'll get their sound back on here. Uh, but this one, it, it feels like they're just not quite done fleshing this out. I mean, it is early access. In some cases, it feels like it's really early access, right? Uh, like, there's, you know, <clears throat> there's a shop, which we saw the bottom floor of that uh, of that little headquarters here. And here, in, in this one, it's here. Now, I, I don't know if they're going to, like, open this up a little bit. Like, I feel like they're taking a much less cartoony approach. If you notice, in 20XX, there was, like, the cute little bumble bot or whatever is kind of, like, floating around, like, making cute faces at you and shit. Uh, so maybe they're kind of stepping away away from that and trying to get back to that true SNES, you know, 16-bit style, you know, kind of uh, artistic style. So maybe they're not going to go that route. But then again, this also looks pretty early access to me. Uh, so so this is probably going to change significantly before the game comes back. I mean, the fonts sitting on, like some of the fonts and the buttons, everything sitting on this overlay here, like it just feels very jarring to see a, you know, big round B button, a, like, a perfectly written, you know, norm, normal spend currency, grow strong. Uh, that the font, this font here, like none of this shit really mass matches, you know. <laughs> and you will see in the game too. There's a lot of stuff. And it's funny when I was playing, I was like, God, like, why does it feel like they started over? And I could see why they did. They really did. Not until I fired out 20XX that I really appreciate. It's like, okay, this isn't just like a rewrite of the same game just to add a couple more features and try to cash in some more. Like they're really, really trying to nail that, uh, that that original aesthetic. They're trying to nail that. Uh, uh, that feel, and so it's like, yeah, this looks completely different, dude. <laughs> like, I, I play, I play this game for an hour, and I was just like, it looks the same. <laughs> like adults. Oh, oh, oh. So you, in in 20XX you have uh, this this kind of a movement style where you are 
like dashing and jumping at the same time, right? So you basically dash and then you jump and you get a bit of a, a get a, a bit of a boost of speed, right? Uh, and so that's just the method that you use to kind of get around all the time. So you're gonna hear that like constantly as I as I move around. No complaints there or anything like that. Just letting you know that, that I'm basically doing both at the same time. So right right bumper and jump at the same time, and that's just how you get around. Now your character starts off pretty slow. Oh gosh, I hate these guys. Oh my gosh, those guys are the worst. Oh, because you can't really see them until you get right up on them. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. You have to actually watch the floor, and you guys could do that, but I'm playing, so I have to actually pay attention to everything else, too. Mmm, streamer vision. Where is it at? Should we another one? Okay, it's not over here. Oh, it's going over here. Oh, okay. Some of the enemies are, are the same. Uh, like, somebody, I think the bat and like, that little guy with the armor on one side and the jets on the other right there. Uh, that guy is the same, uh, just aesthetically way different. And I can say that now with confidence because the art style is so goddamn different. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, how did I do that? Oh, hang it up. Oh, wait a minute. I know I can make that. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, a glory zone. This is basically an extra zone. Go and get some stuff. Oh, see? Those are what I'm talking about! <laughs> they're, they're little mounds on the ground, but... They only show up for like a certain part of the map, and then after that they disappear. Unless, of course, I just get lucky with the procedural generation. Nope. Try to slide through here. This will be a very quiet episode, maybe. I'm sitting here just trying to focus. Trying to get through without dying. Oh my god, these guys again! Oh, I hate you, I hate you. Come out, you're coming out. <laughs> I want to die to those things. Give me another level. Give me another tile set. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm just getting my ass kicked here. Let's see. Uh, core head health pickups might grant armor. Oh, please, God. Jeez, I need anything I could. Freaking hey. So I actually unlocked something uh, that lets me recycle these for scrap, I think. Uh, or some some kind of currency that I could use. But I'm not going to because I need that. So Armor scoop online. Yeah, I would like I would like a, all the text to basically be repurposed so that it looks a bit more like, you know, I mean, like the like font that you would expect in a, uh, in a SNES. They wouldn't have this nice, perfect little Ariel or Gotham, whatever that is. Probably Gotham. A Gotham like kind of font. Nope. Let's see. Now, some of the tiles I've, I've hit a couple times, uh, but they definitely do a pretty good job of, of mixing it up. So, like, I'll get into a rhythm where it's like, wait a minute, I've seen this tile. And then I'll get past and it's like, okay, well, this is totally new. And just the, the way you get in and out of certain tiles. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, <laughs> it feels good, man. Uh, the way you get in and out of certain tiles is different than the first time you went around. Oh, look at that. Friendly fire. I didn't know they could do that. Hmm. Not that I really used my advantage too much, but, you know, noted, I guess. All these guys. Oh, these guys are kind of a pain in the butt. Then they appear here. Then he's going to shoot. I'm just going to eat that. Just, there we go. Oh, crap. There are twins like this in uh, another map. There's like, you know, mobs that just basically are identical. And the same thing in 20 xx actually, there's a lot of this, like, twin mobs. And, oh gosh. Uh, and the other ones will actually both die if you destroy one. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna blow up one and then be good, but apparently not. Mobs are different. You receive blessing. Yeah, look, look at this. This is definitely not final product. <laughs> This is some hyper card shit right here. Uh, let's see. Speed juicer. Increase your speed. Gotta go fast. See power damage scales up with energy. Uh, trades energy HP for and, and uh, wait for HP and power damage. Um, let's just go with increase your speed because I gotta go fast. I gotta go fast. Gotta go way faster than this. The starting speed is just so slow. But like with every run, you're always gonna end up speeding up as you go. Like like quickly. Usually it's one of the first things that you start to kind of stack. Power strength. We have here. More nuts or bolts. Let me see. Ah, okay, so we're gonna contemplate here and basically it's gonna spawn a whole bunch of mobs. And we have to kill them. There's these guys right here, gotcha. Okay, now one more. And then I think it's gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, that's not the first. Uh, to say that's not, that's not the last. We're definitely gonna get a, a good collection of these guys. So I will say um, that her hitbox feels smaller in this than in 20XX. Um, and sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm playing our type, but like platformer version. Oh gosh, you, you. Uh, seriously, it really does have like a, a relatively small hitbox, or I'm just really good. I don't know, man. Like I don't think that's the case. But yeah, there's some shots that I'm I dodged like just by the skin of my teeth, and it's just like what the heck. But I think it's because the hitboxes are relatively forgiving. 
And I don't know if it's on the character or if it's on the uh, the shots that are being fired at me, because there's like huge boulders coming my way. And then I'll just kind of like those giant orbs right there, and I'm just like, eh, nah, I'm just gonna skin right by it. Uh, two shots above and blow you. Oh, sweet. I, speaking of our type, <laughs> next I'll have like two more ships flanking me, two drones flanking me, firing off shots and everything. I need to find myself a good shmup, actually. I haven't played one in a while. This is spear. Game has a lot of new mechanic, a lot of new mechanics that um, uh, I don't think I've even seen in a Mega Man game actually. Whoa! Just gonna scare, there we go. Like some of the there's like this timing. And, and, and granted, I didn't play a little boy. I didn't play. Uh, I played just Mega Man uh, X one, first one. Uh, I didn't play anything beyond that. This is like Mega Man X two and three, and I think it goes up to oh god, I don't even know. Uh, but they have these, and I, we, because we may not see them, I'm just gonna explain them. But uh, they have these. Oh, hold on, so there's something over here. What? Hold on. Just gonna give me another. It's gotta be over here, right? Uh, they have these tiles that are. Uh, there's nothing over there, right? No, there's nothing over there. Over here, though. Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, that are numbered, and you have to jump on them in order, and then when you jump off of one, or you disengage with one somehow, then it will activate the next one in sequence. So you have this really cool rhythm kind of game that you have to do. Uh, and it's a little jarring at first because you're used to just jumping on a platform and just being like, boom, 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 like jumping off of it, but the second you jump off it, it disappears, and the next one activates. So you have to hop, hop, hop all the way up, um, like, in order. How is the more damage? Well, I'm actually getting, like, okay. Okay, look, my powers are gonna do pretty well if I get powers. Come on now, <laughs> that's not your uh, your mega buster or whatever, your blaster. This guy. Okay, I've already fought this guy. I would say some of the mobs are, are are pretty creative and new. Some of them are not like necessarily all that. Uh, uh, like, I mean, this character, this mob, this this boss. I don't know if this feels like a, a, a final boss or what, like a final uh, pass at a boss. But it does kind of feel like he is um, a little just like not that scary. Like, yeah, this big screen that comes up. And it shows the boss and everything, you're just kind of like, okay, it's just a little armadillo guy or something. Porcupine. Porcupine armadillo. Porcadillo. He's got the porky things and he's also got armor and stuff. He rolls up in a ball. Okay, here he is. This is mad face. Mad face. He's gonna bounce around a little bit. I gotta watch those yellow things. Oh crap, right next to me. Oh, he's coming towards me. Okay. This was coming towards me for sure. Nope, okay. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, like, this guy's done. Are you gonna go? Oh, he's not gonna go. Follow him. He's gonna be about dead, anyways. Jeez, these yellow orbs are really hard to friggin'. There you go. Um. But yeah, like, there's, there's some mobs, there's some uh, bosses in. Uh, 20XX that like take up the whole screen and stuff and there's a couple of bosses that take up the whole screen kind of right Like there's like four mini bosses that shoot laser beams or something like that um, But they just don't seem quite as big and intimidating and tough uh, They just kind of feel like mini bosses almost So I wonder if the bosses are gonna get final passes as well like maybe the, maybe these gonna end up being mini bosses and such uh, But that was the final boss of that of that level there uh, let me see. So Crystal Wave. Oh, this is kind of cool actually. Um, I believe in the last game you had you had to uh, you can pick up powers, but you couldn't stack them or something. Uh, and you have this fusion thing going on. Like, I don't know how this works. Like, I have no idea how this works. That's something we're going to have to mess with when we get some more powers or whatever. Um, but, but yeah, they're not currently in use. Yeah, you could basically swap out powers now. So you could collect as many powers as you want. You don't have to worry about, okay, well, you pick one up, you have to drop another one. You can also disable certain things. I actually picked up a couple things I didn't like. You can actually go through and disable these, like, these, disable these cores. So now I don't have the up and down shot, and I don't have the health pickups granted armor uh so very cool that there's you know certain things that you can go through and really customize your character as you do your run so, so if you pick up something you don't like you're not just kind of stuck with it. you could disable it move it around or whatever so that's a really good night really nice touch give you some customization now the first one i did was like oh this is a new tile set for me uh first one i did was uh, uh about 30 minutes long and so i'm hoping we could kind of get that because that's you know, perfect for this for an episode right so i'm hoping that's what we do with this uh okay these ones go down looks like Okay. These things flash hella fast. Are these things gonna go down? Boop. Mm-hmm. Game is teaching me right now. 
It's like these go up and these go down, and then we're gonna come across something else with a fiery pit on the other side of it or something. Something up there? No, okay. Again, more. There's like tiles that that you get early on that strictly are designed like they're they're basically like entry tiles, right? Uh, and the the purpose of them is to show you how certain mechanics work for things that you're going to experience. Oh, uh, later on in the um, in the map, and also hints like how the bosses work. And that's just that's just good good level design, right? Uh, hold on, how's this thing up work? Okay, and they they fire up in order. It looks like okay, cool. Mm, what you doing, Snake? Okay, you're a bad guy, Snake. Okay. Oh, and it goes faster as you go. Oh, dang. So, okay, so is the boss gonna be like that? Oh gosh, dang. This guy. Whoa, what the heck? Oh no, no, but oh my nuts. <laughs> that just sounds better than my bolt, huh? honestly. So how else am I getting this guy's way? Oh! <laughs> I thought I was just gonna shock that area. Awesome. Cool. Lots of radar stuff. Lots of radar stuff. Whoa. Cool. And it regens. The naturally, of course, most moving platforms in uh, these types of games have uh, they regen somehow. Okay, I'm not gonna take my take a risk and seeing what that guy does when he hits you. Basically, I'm farming for bolts here. Okay. Those bouncing balls are just strange. They just bounce. Oh. I'll just gonna go down. Perfect. Whoa, gosh. Oh my gosh. At least I got some health out of that. Did one health. Man, I'm, I'm hurting this this round. Anything over here? No, okay. If I could trigger this guy. Damn. I was hoping to trigger him, and then maybe he goes into like a reload phase or something. There we go. It goes up. This goes up. I can't slide by that? Okay. Damn. Give me some health. Oh, they go sp Oh, dang! They try to split you right into those spikes. Oh, it's oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, oh gosh! Whoa! Man! Oh, whoa, we're 30 minutes in a run. Nah, we're gonna do another one. That was, that was rough. Did I get 10 minutes at least? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh man! Again, another window, another you know dialogue box or pop up, whatever. That's just kind of like this does not look final. <laughs> this does not look final. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna go. The SNES route, visually, you you gotta embrace the whole thing. I need I need like blocky text or something. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just I can't afford any of this stuff, man. I we already unlocked a lot of stuff, so it's fine. Uh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll go ahead and run with this guy. I haven't run with him at all. Uh, definitely my least favorite character, just because it's melee. I don't want to get in dude's faces. Um, but he does start with a with a range attack like that, so he does start with a power already. And I actually have to pick it up. Soon. Um, if you also notice there's like up Y and down Y and everything, so I'm guessing he probably gets more powers that he can handle, I guess. Like look, it's completely different. Um, so I guess he's, he just is able to juggle more abilities and such, which I guess kind of makes sense with given his main attack the way it is. Um, let me see, this is something that's not unlocked. Oh, co-op setup, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm obviously not doing co-op. Split, split screen co-op as well, actually, according to the esteem. Alright, let's see. Hopefully we get like all new. We got red bats now instead of black bats. <laughs> but I'll say, I hope we get all new tile sets and everything. I mean, maybe it could grow on me. I don't know. Gosh, man, that last run, that was rough. Part of me was like, gosh, I hope I get the same tile set because I aced those, some of these tile sets that I played initially. But they were very similar to 20XX. Like, something like this, I don't think there's anything like this. Oh, crap. In 20XX, actually. Like, this kind of green, lush, outdoor type look. I don't think exists. As a matter of fact, I think, I, wait, can he, can he actually deflect bullets? I wonder. No, he cannot. Dang it. Okay, well, let's go test. That would, maybe that's OP. I don't know. Oh, tokens. We can use those machines. You'll see those. Hopefully. Like, assuming I can get there. What is this thing? Okay, just goes backwards. Okay, big ball here. Indiana Jones. Ooh. 
Oh, give it to me. Hey, he's gonna come in here. This, this is gonna be a little bit tougher than, uh... Hmm. Because I gotta get in his face. Mm-hmm. That's gonna go over there. Yeah, with the Mega Buster, I can just charge that bitch up and just... Let him have it as he comes by. Uh, especially if I have the triple shot, which is seems pretty common because I've gotten it three times so far. Oh man. Let's see if I can get the damage, get him to get it to follow him as he comes down. Like this. We see. Uh, oh, so close. Just do constant damage. I kind of want to see that. I could dodge these things all day, but. Yeah! Oh, okay, it doesn't really- it's not too impressive. <laughs> I thought for sure I'd get more than that. Where is he at? Dang. I guess my health bar. Okay. No health bar. I'm just gonna play it. We're gonna wing it. Faster. There he goes. And my nuts. My bolts. Well, a pretty, yeah, it's kind of like a nut with a bolt at the end, maybe. Or a bolt with a nut at the end. Let's see. Mist Tide Protector extends your invulnerability frames. Uh, speed juicer increases your. Go fast. Gotta go fast. Power damage scales up with energy. Let's do this. We gotta go fast. There we go. What do we got in here? See, this is uh, max energy, too. Cool. Take it. And then some more nuts, and then a glory zone. Some bats. Oh, I just barely missed them. Now, uh, oh, the diff one of the difference actually uh, between him and um, and Nina is that his energy regens. So as I'm just firing out these abilities here, but like Nina, she has to pick up energy orbs, right? Uh, but with him, I just fired it off, and you can see, like, it's slowly going down, and then it regens. I don't know if that's, like, forever or anything, but we'll see. Um, the core charger attacks even, uh, chargier! Oh, hey! I'm now a chargier. Let's see, how chargier are they? Well, let's see, there's blue, and then there's... Red. Wait, is there, then there's, wait, there's purple. Okay, and green. <laughs> blue, red, and green. I'll contemplate. There we go. So we get some health, and then some baddies. Mm, come on, just, come on, guy, get out of there. Did I take damage or something? No. Die! Done. What do we have here? Uh, reach, damage, climb. Huh? Let's see, does it, when he climbed, does he do damage or something? Oh, sick! Oh, damn, Strider now. Got a whole new sword. Okay, okay, I wonder if I'm gonna like that. There's no up, up attack or anything. Hmm. Ooh, more damage though. That could be my super, my super charge. Oh, 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 didn't do anything. There we go. Okay, that's the end over there, so. Let's go and do this. Let's see, ah, oh, there's nothing over there. Hey, ain't nothing over there. Same kind of Mega Man, you know, door open, slowly gets slid across. I will say, one of the fights I got into, which we may not see today because there is, you know, a, a good amount of random bosses, uh, was actually a, like a fight through the city, which was pretty sick. Like, I actually had to chase this thing down, and it felt, it felt like it, like an action movie. Like, I'm running and jumping and chasing and trying to shoot it down every time it stops to fire at me. Uh, oh, here we go. 1 HP equals $1. Oh, I don't want to do that. No, hold on. I got a token I want to spend, though. I guess nowhere. Usually there's like a power-up thing or something there, but I guess I'm just not so lucky. Here he is. Urgh, same promise. There we go. Did that change too? Oh, look at that. It sure did. 
Yeah, everything changed. Okay, these things gotta go down. Get that. Try right again. Get that. Get that. No, get that. Get that. 20 damage. 20 damage. Not quite enough, I guess. Just run over there and get it. Good. Now nah, he's gonna. It's gonna go down for a second. Oh shit. Whoa. This boss is easy. <laughs> this boss is easy. It's the levels that are hard. <laughs> it's the levels that mess me up. Potential fragment. That's a currency you can spend uh, when you get back to headquarters. Here we go. So a new thing. What is this? Rise, Phoenix. Ooh. Let's do. Oh, it's a uh, up Y. Ah, tiger. Okay, all right. Down with that. And we leave next level. Ooh, level two legacy. A little peek of the boss there, I think. Some guy in a flying chair. Whoa! So we've already seen this level, so let's see how I perform this time. This is the level that kicked my ass. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just barely out of reach there. Whoa! Ah. Oh. Yeah. Well, these guys are trickier this time. Like, there's lots of them. I do like this weapon, though. Just, just, you know, I wish it did a little more damage. It's also to come out of there. Is there something up there? I can't reach that anyways. That's the boss, boy. That's the one that's gonna get me. I bet I died at the same boss twice, boy. That was so upsetting. Just redo this whole episode now. Nah. <laughs> that's just how RNG works, guys. Okay. I love this. Like, ching, ching. Okay, come on. Ching. What the heck? I'm stuck between these things. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, deja vu. Deja vu. He's gonna come. Oh, gosh. He's gonna come my way. <laughs> I took damage trying to uppercut him. Oh, I gotta be careful with that, I guess. Where are those things at? I'll say, he feels like he's chasing me now. I guess it is totally random. I just got super unlucky. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. It's afraid he's gonna come up here. Oh, gosh, again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I swear to you, I had two amazing runs. Two amazing runs. I'm not playing this until I get a good run, damn it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sense the currency to get strong. What is this? One one energy per rank. Oh, here we go. Ready. What's this? Uh, This is start with five nuts. Oh, I guess they are nuts. Oh, shit. I thought they were bolts because they're on a damn... They're actually on a bolt. Like, it's nuts on a bolt. Shell, yeah, man. My nuts. All right. Let's see. Uh, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Uh, we're gonna increase everything and we're gonna do one more run. Basically maxing all this stuff. What, wondering what it is. Basically it's just shit, it's bullshit. It's all it is, just basically a bunch of bullshit. Things that, that just make your life hell. This is a level, at later levels will offer power rewards at the, at the end. Three ranks and then this divine construction. Enemies and bosses have more health. I uh, see when the timer runs out, you'll be poisoned, die, da, 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 da. items are wildly increased. Like it's basically just like, just, just pain, pain and agony. But that's fine. We'll give you that for one run. God, man, I, I swear to God, I had like a 30 minute run and a 25 minute run. And I was like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Jesus, I guess I can't talk. At least we can see another tile, you know? There we go. Uh, maybe it was just a character. I didn't like Ace. I had bad luck with Nina the first time. I have so many excuses, but I'm fucking loaded. Loaded. Okay, all these guys. That ability is pretty sick, by the way. Oh shit, I didn't know I couldn't could touch them like that. You can stand on them, but I guess you can't touch them. Noted. 
Well, I guess got a lot of health. Does not have that much normally. I mean, I know they said the mobs, everything's increased, but... Yeah, see, I get, What the hell? I, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the, what the... I swear to God, I jumped on him once. We're doing this again. Get in there. <laughs> Do one more run, damn it. Oh, God damn this shit again. This, this damn thing. Just, just, just fuck my shit up, fam. <laughs> I'm not doing this one again. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Did I tell you guys there's a level editor? You can make chunks or something like that, and then I guess they could incorporate the chunks into the game or something somehow. I don't know how that works, but the option's there for those of you guys who like to, like to, you know, fuss around with uh, making your own levels in a painful Mega Man roguelike. Where are those guys in the ground? There they are. Yeah. Chomp, chomp. Oh, God, the second one. Wow. Oh, Jesus. I have, I'm already basically one shot away from being done. It's cool. It's cool. You guys get the gist, right? <laughs> 36 seconds. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. That character doesn't say anything up there, by the way. She literally tells you that. She says, I don't say anything. I actually climbed around this entire level here because it's like just this whole, like, kind of playful. You can kind of go around and see, kind of explore, whatnot. Don't do, don't play games with me. Um, and there's nothing up here. Like I went through and I did all this exploring, and just like nothing happened. You know, I was like, okay, well, cool. Um, well, that's 20XX. Uh, you can pick it up on Steam. It's very early access. Like there's a lot of all the daily challenges and all that stuff. Uh, if you're dying for a game like this and you're and you're okay with uh, with the um, uh, the art style of 20XX, which, you know, apparently, like, some people really, really did not like it, and I was really surprised by that. Uh, I guess I'm just not quite as phased by art style as some folks are, because, like, yeah, I, I just know people who are just, like, really turned off. If the art style is not perfect, they're just like, I can't do it, I can't do it, like, they're offended by it, you know? Um, and I've seen that in some of the reviews and everything of, of 30XX, they're like, oh, you got away from that Yee Yee De Deviant Art Styles. Literally, I literally review that I read. That Yee Yee Deviant Art Style. I was like, what? Really? It looks the same. And then I went and opened it up for you guys, and there it was. Uh, so anyways, yeah, it's, it's pretty early access. Like, if you're if you're dying for a game like this and you're okay with the art style 20XX like I showed you, then you're, you're, you go pick up 20XX. There's the daily leaderboards and the runs and all that stuff. Like, the game really does feel good. It's a super, it's a super tight and, uh, and, uh, uh, and just, like, feature pack like lots and lots of features things you could do um and of course it's a finished game too uh but you know if you want to wait for something that's a little bit more true to the core of the uh of the snes you know mega man x kind of look then just uh you know put this one on your wish list and uh, check back check back in uh you know like six months or so now they did say that there is a if we go to the front page here to the uh to, to, to end run here uh yeah really quick I mean, I'm just going to the front thing, so show them. Uh, you can see on the right-hand side there, it says next update in 7 days, 16 hours, 6 minutes, and 34 seconds. So, yeah, there's more content to come, and it's coming at regular intervals. So, check it out. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. The game is 30XX. 20XX was a slam dunk. It really, truly was. So, uh, I'm guessing this one is going to be one of those, too. God, sorry for the terrible runs, but I promise you I did better. You guys don't give a shit. You guys saw enough. Have a good one. I'll see you guys. Bye.